Okay, this next mnemonic is to help you remember the signs and symptoms of hypoxia. So hypoxia is basically when they're not getting enough oxygen and they become hypoxic. They're low on oxygen. So they will demonstrate the early signs are anxiety and restlessness, and then as it continues, the patient will deteriorate and have bradycardia and dyspnea. Um, and an interesting thing, I remember watching TV once and there was, um, they showed this recording of this pilot and his wife. They were in like one of those real small planes and they had increased their altitude significantly and were suffering from hypoxia. The husband was who was the pilot and didn't realize it. And they showed the tape of the guy in the, you know, Tr trying to fly the plane and he just was super anxious restless wasn't making much sense it was very interesting to like hear what he was saying and have it not make sense but think it made sense and what was he was suffering from hypoxia which i thought was very interesting so the mnemonic is rat bed r-a-t-b-e-d rat bed and the rat stands for the early hypoxia so restlessness, anxiety, tachycardia, and tachypnea. And then the BED, B-E-D, stands for the late hypoxia, bradycardia, extreme restlessness, and dyspnea. So RAT BED, R-A-T, restlessness, anxiety, tachycardia, and tachypnea. And then late hypoxia for the BED, B-E-D, bradycardia, extreme restlessness, and dyspnea. So those are the ways that you can remember the signs and symptoms that accompany hypoxia. This has been another episode of the Nursing Mnemonics Podcast by NRSNG.com with your host, Katie Kleber, RN, CCRN. To grab all of our nursing cheat sheets, head over to NRSNG.com slash freebies. That's NRSNG.com slash freebies. Thank you so much for being here today. We love you guys. We thank you so much. We want to see you guys succeed. Listen, we're all in this together. Now go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.